Uh, next up, we've, we've got sharing in a different way. Uh, in, uh, in our partner community, there's, there's, there's spots of brilliance in, in what we're doing in, in, throughout our region. Um, but something which, which I've found to be truly exceptional is the work that is happening at the moment in Hitma in the Netherlands, um, led by Astrid van Belegoy and Lester Millard, working with the company TamTam, -Tam, trying to understand how to take social media and social, a social dimension to web communication into our B2B industrial space. And what I've seen over the last eight or so months, that's about right, Astrid, in Hitma, and it's just going live now online, is truly game-changing. And the reason I've asked Lester, Astrid, and Jerome to come and share what they've been doing is that if we can start to do this in other regions and other countries, we will change our part of the market. I am convinced of it. And with that, I'd like to invite the Hitma team and Tam Tam to come and share what they've been doing and why. Thank you. Thanks, Lester. Good morning. I'll just put this You've down. probably heard the name Hitma once or twice over the last couple of days. I apologize for that, but uh, hopefully we can share our experiences with you. Um, we have a theme called Safety is Our Concern, and uh, I think the name Safety has also been mentioned several times over the last couple of days. Um, I'd just like to run through quickly who we are, what we do, and then I'm going to come into an intro for Astrid and Astrid will take it further. Uh, we're part of a Swedish group. Uh, there's 150 uh, subsidiaries within our group. Some of my uh, fellow colleagues are sitting here at the back. Um, we have collectively 800 million euros a year turnover, but we're all independent. The business is bottom up and not top down. Uh, moving on to the Hitma Group, we have uh, 14 uh, companies and we have 200 employees with 82 million a year turnover. Um, my organization is split up with uh, Hitma Instrumentation, valves, safety devices, purchasing logistics, maintenance, and of course, our marketing website and social media. Okay, some of our key values is everything that we do must be in the interest of our clients, our suppliers, and our own company. And we try and differentiate our products by offering good service, good knowledge, and cooperation with our manufacturers and our principals. Um, some of our leading customers, I'm sure you recognize them, Shell, DSM, AXO, and a few others, Power generation we're in, Aon, Electrobel, Stork, Eda, Ascent, all names I'm sure you're familiar with. Our key activities are technical support, marketing, engineering, purchasing and logistics, and our own warehouse. Um, this is an interesting slide. Um, it just gives you an idea of the mix of products that we have. Um, Top left-hand corner, Invensys products. Underneath, wireless technology, the little uh, yellow device down there. Relief valves, gas technology, rupture discs, and other sorts of valves, which makes our business up and actually complements Invensys products. Um, I thought this would be an interesting slide to share with you. Um, I looked at our business from quarter 2008 when we joined Invensys till now. And you'll see that uh, Bob and Reuter, which is safety relief valves, um, is sky high towards the 5 million. But equally, Invensys is above the 3 million. But if you take out the project that we had in Singapore, then actually Invensys is our number one supplier. Okay, some things about our traditional way of doing business. We visit clients, we discuss the applications, we promote our partner's products, nothing new. We evaluate the technical inquiries. 
We talk to our customers. And we make a quotation. Nothing new. We follow up on the quotations. And we visit our customers and hopefully book the orders. Classic way of doing business. The inside story, our thoughts and attitudes together, is our success. Now, there's a lot of leaders in this uh, um, conference and uh, we're all dominant, powerful, prevailing, influential, a select few, the best, cream of the crop, out of the box thinkers, and that's all of you. What do you see? It's a question. What do you see on this slide? Sand? Okay. Pity. What do I see? I think um, Emerson was mentioned several times, looking up towards Emerson, that they're a big player. Interesting how people's perceptions are. I'll tell you what I see. I see us leaders creating footsteps for our future. And I see Emerson following our footsteps. I think differently. We need to create the footsteps so they follow us, not the other way around. Okay, what do we do differently? We try to use the tools that are available, given to us by Google and the social media. We have specialized personnel that are trained by Google and our partners, TomTom. Tom. Uh, we obtain high ranking in the search results. We rethink media. And Google are the bastards of all the searches. And TomTom Tom plays a big role in our business. So the key to our success is engineering, Hitler engineering, your engineering is our engineering. Okay, so I'd like to introduce Astrid, and she's going to take it on from there. Thank you. Okay. Hello, I'm Astrid from Barnegooi. I'm working for the, the Hitma Group, and Hitma Process is uh, one company uh, of our group. It's, uh, I think, uh, a chocolate-winning company because yesterday we had three boxes of chocolate together with Tantem, and I think it's a pretty good job. Um, I would like to tell you something about uh, our marketing uh, activities, conventional marketing activities, and uh, the changes we made with, together with Tantem um, about internet marketing and social media. Um, it's all about contact. It's uh, less at all this. Um, selling products, it's all about contact with our customers, and you can do that in different ways. Um, in the Hitma Group, we uh, are using the term consultative selling. It's always uh, the application of the customer that's the starting point for our activities. But you have to keep in touch always. Also, when there's no project going on or something like that. Um, the good old days. You can go to a speaker's corner. We are a very old company, so in the beginning, I think that was the way. Jump on a an, uh, soapbox and uh, yelling out your message. Um, people are spread the word, unless it uh, was the meaning of it. But nowadays, there are more tools to spread the words. Of course, conventional communication is still very important because um, it's what we do every day. All our salespeople, marketing, personal contact, direct mail, letters, press releases, or advertising, exhibitions you saw yesterday together with uh, events. Uh, we do a lot of exhibitions. Telemarketing, we do. But now there are new channels, communication channels, new tools. Very important is our website for all our companies. We are uh, busy with a lot of projects to change our internet sites. It's a big project and we're not done yet, but we're doing a lot of work on it. Um, it's very important that you are very high in ranking, you will know that. 
search engine optimization, maybe you will tell something about it, I don't know. Um, use the right content, the, the, the right words, um, link building with other sites is very important. We send out a lot of email newsletters when we have a new product, a new distributor of a supplier. We send out email newsletter. We uh, have a database with people who give us permission to send emails, and we are doing that a lot. We are using portal sites, uh, like sites from uh, trade magazines or uh, technical websites to put on our uh, profile, company profile, press releases, information about the product, and they were linking to the Hitma sites. It gives you a good ranking for Google. And there's social media. Well, in, in Holland, um, we are very fun uh, with social media. We are using it a lot, uh, private, but also business to business. Uh, I think, well, you can give us the, the, the figures, but almost everyone is on LinkedIn in, in the business world. And Twitter is getting uh, more and more uh, important, but Jeroen will tell us all about it. And uh, the, the beginning of our social media adventure uh, was the, in, in Dutch it's the breekplaat specialist, but it's a rupture disk specialist in English. Um, we were changing our strategy about selling uh, rupture disk. And um, before we are making this site, we were uh, a dedicated, exclusive distributor of one brand. But now we are independent and selling all kinds of rupture disks from all kinds of brands. And we uh, developed this website. And you can see Twitter on it, but it's also integrated uh, with uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And my colleague, Dick Verhoef, he is our face for the rupture disk specialist. He is our uh, rupture disk specialist. And he is on Twitter. And he's sending out, well, every day, I think, a tweet about uh, our products, but also about funny things. Uh, things are happening in our company, um, parties, uh, uh, a drink uh, for the weekend. And every day he has have contact with his followers. And it's working, and also YouTube. YouTube is very popular. We put on uh, videos, uh, demonstration about our products. And uh, we got a lot of visitors on our website by Twitter. This is an, uh, a portal site from a trade magazine. It's uh, fluids processing. Um, all the Hitma companies uh, has a, a company profile on this uh, site. And it's one of, uh, it's an example because there are a lot of sites like this in Holland. Um, when you are a partner from a site like this, you can put on your press releases and all the information you want to share. Uh, this was the first press release uh, when we are working together with uh, Foxborough and Eckert. You can see at this moment you can also share it by Twitter. Well, I'll, t I'll try to explain uh, uh, parts of the concepts we use um, uh, uh, for online campaigning and online marketing via social media or whatever online media uh, there is or will be. Um, and my first message is that, just trying to, I think I have to stand here, that like the, the, the sales will start with this. Yeah. It's working. So it's a bit of strange, strange uh, scenery. The thing is that if you see this, when I came across this photograph, I was really like, OK, what happened here? This man on steroids eating an ice cream and the, 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 the burning cars in the back, and what happened? And uh, what you create with this, my point is that you create attention. And attention is the first thing in marketing, because there's so much out there, and everybody is twittering, and uh, there's so much communication, and everybody's saying, like, oh, I'm going crazy, all this information in my head. 
And as a company, you have to uh, really stand out and, and, and uh, well, you have to uh, be in the picture. And this thing is like, you, when you see this, you don't, it's not a normal commercial or, or so. It's just, you look at it and it's, what happened? Well, but I'm going to show you two models. This is the first one.